What's going on guys, welcome to another YouTube video. Today I'll be showing you my controller settings that I found best for on console. So before we get into the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and use code xan 71 in the app store. Without further ado, let's get on into the video. Alright, so the first setting we're going to go through is go from left to right. So we're going to start from the video settings. So I have my brightness on 1.5 and you'll understand why in a minute when I go through all the other settings. So as you can see on the screen, it's already, but the reason why I have on 1.5 is because I use integrated con um, contrast. I put that on 1.1. 1, 1. 1. Instead of having it on 1 times, I have it on 1.1 because it's, so it's actually 1.11. So the reason why I have used in interface con contrast on is because I have tri tripod on and then color blind strength on 4, motion blur off, and show FPS. The next tab, which is game, your matchmaking region should be auto. Your language is listed the exact same as well, so mine's just default English. Toggle sprint off, sprint by default on. You understand why all, why all these settings are on and off as we get further on this video, so don't skip ahead, otherwise you'll understand most of the settings. Sprint, sprint cancels reload off. You would need to have auto open doors on. Hold to swap weapons, I have that off, but you can have that on if you um, play on keyboard and mouse, you can set it to a different keybind, which is very helpful. Toggle targeting off. Mark danger when um, targeting. Auto pick up weapons off. Now your next setting you want to turn on is auto sort consumables to the right. Reset building choice on. Disable pre-edit options. Turbo build on. Confirm edit on release on. Now I have show tips off. Now look into view I have off. Invert airborne controls to off as well. So now you want tap search on. So your record replays, I have just record replays on. Record large team replays off. Record creative modes off. Game UI HUD. I have the HUD scale on 100. And then I pretty much have every single one turned on. Except for the very bottom one. Which is creative runtime performance stats now your keyboard and mouse sensitivity these are mine for when i'm playing keyboard and mouse but if you don't play keyboard and mouse you can just leave this one out so you can just copy this if you want now your controller inputs so i have controller auto run on build immediately on and i have edit hold time set to 0 0.100 seconds i have vibrations off now your look sensitivity and aim sensitivity ads you want to have that on 4. Your build mode sensitivity and edit mode sensitivity. I have it on 1.5. I have some friends that like to have it on 1.2 or 1.8. Because they like to build a lot faster. But I like to be consistent. And be able to pull off every single option that I want to do. So I have it on a slower. I used to have it on 1.2. But I've just gone a little bit quicker. Because I've got a lot more consistent with it. So gradually like up it or you can decrease it. Whichever you prefer to be the best option. Now you want to use advanced options on. Now you look horizontal speed. I have mine on 26 and look vertical speed on 26 as well. Now anything that has boost on it, you want to make sure that it's turned off. I can't stress this enough. If you have boost on, as you try and do something, you're just going to quickly either move away from your target or you won't be able to hit the right amount of shots that you want to hit. So anything with boost on that you see, turn it off. Just make sure everything's turned off as you can see on mine. And now you look ADS horizontal speed and you look, look vertical speed. Look horizontal speed one higher than my vertical. And then obviously all my turn boost ramping time onto zero so it's all turned off. You look dampening time, you also want that off. Now your input curve, so I'm, I'm still going to exponential and obviously your AMC strength on 100% always. And then your dead zones are literally to your controller. Now your sounds once again are literally to preference. I like to have my music off, sound effects pretty low. I have voice chat off because I usually don't use it. And now I had used to have 3D headphones on, but then this season decided to not allow you to use it with visual sound effects. So I've just stick to my visual sound effect. Now my voice chat, obviously this is to preference, but I pretty much have mine all to off because I don't use them. Um, mouse and keyboard controls, these are if you play keyboard and mouse or if you don't. I'm just going to quickly scroll through them. You can stop anywhere in the video if you want to use them or not. This isn't a video for my control, so I'm just going to move my webcam out of the way so you can see them and we'll just go through them. Now, if you wanted to pause for any of them, see them more clearly, obviously you can just pause the video where you are and just scroll back through them if you really want to copy them. They're not the best, but they're all right. Now to my controls, I have my edit on left 
analog stick so if you have your edit on your left analog stick like i do you need to put your sprint to another button so i've got rid of my squad commands and put it right on my d-pad and put sprint and auto sprint on there and then just switch mode to b so that's pretty much and then crouch is still all the exact same except for the edit and then you want to make sure your edit is once again on the build controls and your sprint is also on there as well and you switch mode and all that's the exact same yeah now your edit controls i have reset on left trigger and confirm is obviously just b now your account privacy this is pretty much all just preference some ones that i definitely have turned on so i have auto claim friend request on so if i'm streaming or anything People can't just send me friend requests and then, like try and add me. Notify friends when playing. I have that off. Can receive gifts on. Show on career board. I honestly can't remember why I turned this off. But I do have it turned off. And anonymous mode on. I usually have a, match, a hidden matchmaking delay. But I turned it off particularly for this video. So that you lot couldn't like know what my hidden matchmaking delay is. That's pretty much just the settings that I preferably find really good for controller literally if you just stick with them for like a week or something and like obviously if you don't see too much of a difference or you don't really like them that much you can also just change them up to like whatever you prefer thank you all very much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye